open the other side of the bag. You can see how the what's his name. Start tying that up if you want. Don't kill it, just you know. You're gonna go this this one this way. You just back it up. And you could even start from here and it'll turn everything at once. You know, cut whatever it's connected to. This thing is frozen though. Insulation on it. Everything okay? Everything good, my friend. How are you? I'm okay. I am okay too? If you okay, me okay. My friend Marik. Okay, so we're gonna shut this off. And we'll use this guy. Let me get a... Uh, hold up, actually. We're dead here. Nah, boy. Klein is good. Because I abuse the shit out of a couple of my flatheads. I use them as pry bars and stuff like that. And I've never, never failed me. Okay. All I'm doing is I'm taking the power from here. It's for the laundry room. The laundry machine. I'll disconnect that for now. And it's a little dark here, but... I gotta connect this back. Is there a flashlight in the bag? Small one? No, I left it in the truck the whole light, the damn light. Well, I have to get it. It's all good. We have a little light here. Okay. I don't even know if I have the small one. Yes, I do. Yes, I does. Yes, I does. I don't like to make. Give me the snap on crimper. I don't like these crimpers, they don't crimp good. You see the big snap on. It looks like Steve Lab, man. See, I use my tools. My tools are clean, but uh, see the little black marks on it there. <laughs> Steve Lab busts my balls all the time, saying my tools are clean. I want to show you some of my Knipex, and I have this in different sizes. The Cobra pliers, really nice pliers. I just want to show you guys. If you're interested, I can do a little review and compare them to other pliers. It's my Knipex setup right there. And I got this one, it's a regular channel locks. And I also, they actually make this for Craftsman, which is this one right here. It's a Craftsman made in Germany. It's the same exact plier, they just made it for Craftsman. But, uh, and of course I throw in my uh, snap-on crimpers over there. This is my freaking snap one. But I have other Knipex pliers. If you guys are interested, I can do a little review on them. They're really nice. They're, I just love these ergonomical handles. They just they feel they feel nice, man. They really do. But if you're gonna carry an MC bag, this is not the type of handles I would recommend because you're limited with space and it's kind of difficult to like stuff tools one over the other. You know, you can get the regular handles, which is this type, and it actually looks like you just know, got uh, my uh, 208 single phase going into the contactor. Okay, right there. But I apologize for the lighting. Just sent my helper to go get the drop light. Forgot it again. Um, I got the uh, water in, coming in, straight. This is water supply for additional uh. Dro uh Washing machines, they're just here in case they want to add uh, any extra ones. So I'm just using that water coming in and the water coming out straight into the drain, into the laundry mat, drain line. So uh, one of the subs asking what type of light this is. This is a Pro Light Electrical, model number RTL30. Uh, you can get a better one than this. There's a one. There's another one similar. Where all you do is you, they just sell this, the light portions, LED lights, and you just add it to any any old uh, drop light. It kind of screws on like a light bulb. They have this is the, they ha I have a better one than this one. There's there's another one I have, uh, higher lumens. 
but that's that's what it is right here pro light electronics you can get it on amazon it's like 20 bucks okay all right so i got uh just connect it straight to the contactor and uh i got my wires connected to y fan reversing valve and uh r seems like but it's just gonna okay so let's see we start actually it's starting now take a look at the amperage i might have to open it up a little bit more do me a favor stay by that valve that i got cracked actually wait she's looking good actually wait one second. i don't know if you guys can see that let me shut off the light Close the valve off a little bit. Just give it very little water. Not too much. Yeah, it's a little cold. Okay. So, you have to have the proper GPMs for this thing to work properly. We're just doing it to get a ballpark idea, so. Alright, that's it. We're good. Let's take this guy out of here. Alright guys, she's the best she's gonna get, man. It's really tight in there. You know, it looks a little ugly with the yellow zip ties. That's all I have in the truck. You know, it's the best I can do with this installation. She's really tight, man. It's really, really tight. Not easy. So, beg my part on that. As Pug One would say, beg my part. Just one more look at the insulation. That's all I can do. It's the best I can get it. So, final results. It's real difficult, but... We got her done and uh, got everything connected. All my wires, I don't know if you guys can see that. Got the alarm connected from the pan. The hockey puck. This is a stupid, uh, I just gotta set these in place right now. I'm just not done. But this is the kind of wet switches we use. I just gotta wire that up finally in there. And uh, they work pretty good. But what sucks about them, once they get wet, you gotta blow dry them to get them working again. That's the only pain in the ass. Other than that, they, they work pretty good. So I just gotta get that done. But I got everything else done. It's all good. Just waiting on a signal. Gonna connect my uh, I got all the water lines connected and uh no leaks and just gotta get my gauges on there and i'm just gonna test it one more time just want to show you the pressures see downstairs when we were testing it because the water was so cold that uh, it's uh throwing off our pressures but this is what we have there it goes i don't know if you guys can see that it's about 110 115 back pressure originally uh my back pressure was at like 10 and head pressure was up to 600. Now to replace the TXV valve, it's all TXV. Uh, we got, I got a one, 110. This is the exact charge in this unit, 4.6 pounds. You know, um, and I got 400 head pressure. So yeah, down the water downstairs was at 40 degrees. I just wanted to see the thing come on. I just wanted to make sure everything was all right. But uh, okay, so and that's our final right there i'm just gonna close up that pan that little box and uh we're good to go and that that's it